Many people keep saying, hey, Viking, when will there be an electric sports car? Something like a Mazda Miata, a Mazda MX-5, but for the electric, when's it coming? Come on, please, I want one, an affordable one. Well, this may be it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. And I've got to say, this vehicle is exciting. It actually ticks basically every box. It's fast. It's very lightweight for an electric car. In fact, it's very lightweight for a sports car, period. It's also got a good range, 500 kilometers on the NEDC cycle, 520, in fact. And the price, well, the price is extremely affordable. I'm actually thinking this car may be the one to get something really happening. I mean, there's no real affordable electric sports cars right now. Yeah, there's fast, insanely fast electric cars, heaps of them. They're all over the place. The Model 3 performance is crazy. I mean, look, it beat the M2 around Top Gear's test track. Model Y performance, that's fast. There's heaps. Zika 001, the new model, the new all-wheel drive version is insane. It's got more than 400 kilowatt. There's this, I mean, I've made probably 30 videos in the past year showing you fast cars that are relatively affordable. Same Hyundai's new N-Line version of their Ionic 5, the Kia GT, the, the list goes on. But none of them are sports cars. None of them are lightweight. They're all pretty heavy and they're all relatively big. But this thing, well, this thing really is something I have to say I would love to own. Now, the interesting thing about this is, have you bought a Xiaomi product, right? Xiaomi, they're one of the biggest manufacturers of electric scooters in the world. They manufacture, in fact, a range of different appliances that are available in basically almost every country around the world that are electric and have batteries. And Xiaomi, they don't actually technically have a car brand because they think people perceive them as being uncool or not car brandish enough or I don't know. So what they did is they've gone and backed a brand, a like a tuning house in China to make these cars for them and just to rebadge them and to kind of make them sound cool. So it's actually possible when you think about it, they could actually do the same thing and just sell them in other countries around the world. And frankly, there would be enormous demand for them considering the specs, the price, the range and everything else I mentioned. So this Chinese startup backed by smartphone giant Xiaomi has unveiled a low priced electric sports car. Car tuning startup China Car Custom announced this sports car called the SC01 at an online launch event within the last 24 hours and said it will be officially produced beginning in the first quarter of next year. The SC01, it weighs 1.3 tons according to cnavpost.com and is capable of doing 0 to 62 miles an hour, which is 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in only 3.9 seconds, which seems entirely realistic considering the fact it has 320 kilowatt or around 470 horsepower, considering the fact it has 370 kilowatt, which is actually almost exactly 500 horsepower. 500 horsepower in a vehicle that weighs 1.3 tons, I think it's gonna be pretty quick. It's gonna cost less than 300,000 yen. In other words, less than 42,000 US dollars. That is incredibly good value considering what you're actually getting. Now the company says it's taking orders now for deliveries next year and the orders, you can actually place an order for 200 RMB, which is $28. So if you wanna put down an order, it's only 28 US dollars. The company says the SC01 is a two-seat electric sports car built for pure driving pleasure, with the SC in its model name standing for sports car. This model will get people far more sporting features than a typical sports car that costs a similar amount from you know gasoline-powered brands. The SC01 is actually 4.1 meters long, or 4,085 millimeters, 1,820 millimeters wide and 1,162 millimeters high. Wheelbase is 2.5 meters. So it's actually not very long, but it's fairly wide, not super wide, but fairly wide, which makes it, I think, look really good. In fact, I absolutely love the design. It's kind of old school retro. Whoever designed this thing, they did a really good job. Range, well, it's got dual electric motors. Range is 500 kilometers on the NEDC cycle. And according to a media report in China, Xiaomi has invested tens of millions of dollars into this startup. Now, apparently the guy who's the CEO of this company is 
a founding Xiaomi veteran and a core figure in the Xiaomi eco chain, and he's serving as a director of a portfolio company, which means basically, yeah, this company is Xiaomi. It's just been rebranded. Now, apparently in the past, this company started by actually modifying cars like the Porsche 911, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, and a range of other sports cars in China. And the team has also worked with a number of race companies to hand build high performance cars for competition and actual racing. Last August, WM Motors Weltmeister, based on its W6 SUV, was unveiled at the Chengdu Auto Show. Now the company claimed that this insane car, which I made a video about, I'll put a link in the description below, can do zero to 62 miles an hour in 1.6 seconds which sounds impossible and insane. And according to a lot of YouTube channels, it's not physically possible, but I think it is. If you think about it, the Tesla Model S, which is a massive vehicle, can do zero to 62 in about two seconds. There's no reason why this couldn't do it in 1.6. It's not that different. I actually think the future of sports cars is insanely exciting. In fact, Gasoline cars, I think, are just boring now because they're so slow in comparison. I mean, tell me what gasoline-powered car you can get that is even remotely as fast as the Tesla Model S Plaid. And that's a big car. Imagine taking the drivetrain from the Tesla Model S Plaid, putting it into something much smaller and lighter weight. That would be insane. And I can't wait to see cars like that on the market. But I think even better than that, is a vehicle like this, which costs only 42 or less than 42,000 US dollars, gives you incredible performance, good range, and is realistically a vehicle that a lot of us could potentially afford at some point in future. These kind of cars will be everywhere. And honestly, it's kind of cool to see this happen. It's kind of cool for us to be around here at this period in time, this period in history, when these kinds of cars are starting to be released. I mean, realistically, Excitement around these kinds of cars is going to build more and more and more. Look what Dodge just said. Dodge just said we've reached the limits of internal combustion engine vehicles. Muscle cars of the future are absolutely not powered by gas. They're powered by electricity. Let me know what you think of this car in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.